think we're almost ready. Greetings, biological organisms. Okay, we got that plugged in. We got that selected. Okay, that's up there. That's up there. Ooh, that's not where it's supposed to be. Let's get that where it's supposed to be. Right about there. Okay, mm that's good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, today, <coughs> in honor, well, I want to highlight the uh, Canines for Warriors charity. Where the heck is that? Here it is. And uh, let me get my big fat head out of the way. That's not how you do that. Okay, so if you go, you can use the client or you can use the web page. Look for the. Yeah, it's, it should be on here twice. I probably scrolled right past it. Steel Hunter. World of Tanks joins forces with Canines for Warriors. Take a look at that. You can look at it on the web page as well. Watch the video. It's a, like a four minute video. Uh, give you an idea what they do. They're going to tug at your heartstrings a little bit. Um, but I'd rather have them tell you what they're doing than me. Basically, it's, it's uh, partnering veterans with dogs that are essentially therapy dogs or they're not quite assistance dogs but they're uh they're, they're like to to help veterans cope with distress issues ptsd that sort of thing <sighs> cynical note or maybe it's just an asperger's note when every time i see a charity or a feel-good story or someone is sick or injured or poor or starving can't find resources they need and someone comes along deus ex machina group gets together and raises money and saves the day we feel good about that but we should really be looking at that as a reminder that the system is broken this we, these people should never be that desperate this is the richest nation in the in the in the history of the world. We have the resources, we just lack the will. So anyway, enough of that cynicism. Um Canines for Warriors seems like a pretty good charity. I would be tempted to donate to it. Although I'm pretty tight-fisted cuz I'm not made of money myself either. Uh, you could fix that. Link in the description. Uh, <laughs> World of Tanks communities joining, uh, partnering up with them. They they had a goal, I guess, last year of raising like a thousand dollars, and they raised, I want to say, over twenty five thousand. This year they had a goal of twenty five thousand. They've blown past that already. The main thing I'm looking for here is dates. Bundles are available starting Friday, May twenty seventh, so last week, uh, until June seventeenth. So we've got a couple weeks to uh, participate, to donate, and to be rewarded as well. N one of the main reasons I want to point it out to you is, sure, it's a good cause, but you can get a fantastic deal. If you are at all interested in purchasing <coughs> the T26 E5 Patriot or the Renegade, what is it, M... I've got one here in the garage. M54... <coughs> Renegade. If we go to the tier three bundle, well, the you can get the Patriot for twenty two dollars if you donate twenty two dollars to Canines for Warriors. Apparently, Wargaming doesn't see a cent of that, uh, but you will be rewarded with a T twenty six E five Patriot seven days of premium time. This camouflage right here. And this is not a 2D style. This is four sheets of camouflage. So it's, we'll look at it in a minute, but if you have a tank with a turret and a barrel and a hull, you can do one season's worth and then you'll have one sheet uh, left over that, I don't know, you can do whatever you want with, I guess. Or you could just, we'll talk about that later. So you get that camouflage. You also get that for the $11 description, three days of premium time, uh, canine camouflage, and this cute little German Shepherd um, decal, $22. T26E5 Patriot. 
when it's on sale in the store, the board gaming store, I believe it's like forty-three to forty-six dollars. It's going to be somewhere in there. Uh, seven days premium time, same camouflage, more decals. But if you spend, if you donate thirty-three dollars, you will get not only the T twenty-six E five Patriot, but you'll also get the M fifty four Renegade. Some people consider this tank to be extremely overpowered, pay to win. I don't, but it is a good tank, and it's very flexible for a heavy tank. Armor could be a little more reliable, very vulnerable cupola on top, but great gun handling. Uh, so in the hands of, the, of a good player or someone who knows how to take advantage of its um, capabilities without overexposing its vulnerabilities it's a great tank it, and it's worth having and for $33 it's worth getting I already had the Patriot but I went ahead and got this bundle and I got oh let me check my I said in discord how much I got for that it's um three million four hundred eighty thousand credits so I think it's the same amount of credits that you would get if you were buying a tier 8 that's a tier nine. Buying, I said buying. Do I not have a, okay, here's a heavy tank. So purchase price, uh, 2,435,000. So it's more than a, a tier nine heavy tank cost. It's more like, a, I mean, it's about a, the same as a tier nine, even though it's a tier eight, I guess, cause it's a premium and it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good tank. Mm hmm. So do this. If you're interested at all in these tanks, if this price, if this donation is not going to break you, you know, more than that, if it's, it's not going to hurt you, uh, and you're interested in these tanks, the, you're never going to get these tanks for this price anywhere else. You know, maybe some shady eBay guy, but I, I don't think that works either. Um, so click on the donate button, you know, cho choose your tier, click on the donate button. Are you getting this Marv? You can read more about it. I think, I thought that video was on here as well. I guess it's just, uh, on the, the Wargaming site. Uh, you can see we've already reached our goal. We're at 30,000 raised. So, and watch the video and you'll see, you'll get an idea of how the money's spent. Donate to event. You want to come in here, your best gift, put in the tier amount that you want. I'm talking about the $33 one, but you can, if you just want the Patriot, put in 22. If you just want the camouflage, put in 11. But I mean, the 33 is such a good deal. That's why I'm sharing this information. with. That's why I'm highlighting this information with you. The information is already available to you. Uh, I don't know if making your gift anonymous matters. I would recommend not doing that. And then putting your in-game name here it might not even hurt to put in, you know, your server, although I suspect that this deal is only available to North America. Um, I don't know. But yeah, you can put in North America, you can put an in-game name, and then you can put in your game name. And then fill out the rest. Credit card, blah, 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 email, CV, I'm not a robot. <sighs> now, if you're just doing this for the tanks, if you're trying, if you're looking at it like a tank purchase, you're going to be a little bit dis... Whoa, poker face! I believe the Renegade... Yeah, a lot of people believe the Renegade is OP. Great gun. Great gun. <laughs> but I've played it before, and while I had a good win rate, I did not have a good survival rate, and I did not have a great XP. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, so my story, I bought it or I donated last Thursday or Friday, might've been Saturday, but uh, somewhere in there. And it shows here on the information page that oh, it did say here. Oh, here we go. Items are credited to accounts every Monday by 3 p.m. Pacific or 6 p.m. Eastern. That was not my, that was not my experience. Um, I got it, I believe, earlier this morning. So what is this? This is Wednesday. I believe I got it Wednesday morning while I was sleeping because I get off work in the morning and day sleeper, blah, blah. Um, 
so I sent in a ticket Monday at what would have been 5.30 my time, Central, and got a response within an hour that give it 24 hours and then get back to us. I gave it 24 hours or more and then got back to them and uh, they said, due to the holiday weekend, blah, 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 delays, please be patient, blah. And then, you know, this morning I got it. So I don't know if you're going to need to send tickets to get yours, but uh, it works. If you want the tanks, you can get the tanks. Cost you thirty-three dollars. So that's that story. Let's say thanks to our friends. I'll usually do that earlier, but you know, uh, Flickr Arg, Cody Menz, who is Wat Guru, WatGuru.com. Thanks for that Twitch Prime subscription to him. That was just out of the blue. Very nice of him. Uh, he gave us a raid as well. Rigger the Singing Tanker. You can check out his World of Tanks channel. Oh, um. Obviously, if Cody Menz rated us, he's also a Twitch streamer. Um, Predict Chaos, who is also a Twitch streamer. I believe he's also playing World of Tanks. Genexawad talks about Zor42. Am I missing something here? No, okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't ignoring you, Poker Face. Uh, Father Cheeto, Jerawante, King Dogspeed, formerly known as King Akira. Um, Kerbal Space Program streamer, friend of mine. Uh, does other things, but Kerbal Space Program is the main thing. Uh, Dragon Yancic reminds us that you can subscribe on YouTube, uh, as Yanez Novak did as well. Uh, I tend to archive videos on YouTube so they don't get deleted after two weeks. And then some of the games that I play, because it's not just World of Tanks, like uh, recently uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I like having an archive that anyone that's interested in that game my kids later on me I can look back at that we can look back at that forever into the future assuming that YouTube and Google never disappear which at this point it's hard to imagine that but like so many cultural staples many of them are gone now um, and thanks to Tuval9191 for that tier 1 subscription. Oh, and let's mention Miko with that $2.50 donation. If you're watching on YouTube, it doesn't have to be. If you want to donate a specific amount, you don't have to be watching the live show. Link in the description. You can donate any time, and I will be notified, and I'll, I'll be sure to thank you. And if I don't thank you, send me a message, Discord, comment on the video, whatever, and say, hey, dummy, you miss me. And because, uh, you know, credit where it's due. I want to take care of you. You're taking care of me. Ooh, what else we got? That's... Oh, I did that on the wrong page. Well, quick flash up. Thanks to all our friends. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, these... You know, I'm not a big Hollywood production, but if I had credits, I, I think it would be these people. All right, no new codes. Showdown Saturday postponed until June 14th, 16th, whatever that, it's a Tuesday, <clears throat> June 14th, they'll apparently be starting a new Showdown Saturday, so for the next two weeks, <laughs> no, no gold for you, no premium days for you, although you can still get them from the Battle Pass, and I, I'm kind of glad that as soon as the one Battle Pass ended, a new one began, uh, that works for me. I am currently, I did not have not gotten the improved battle pass yet. I, I will be getting it. Uh, I believe in it. The show we did yesterday, I kind of go over trying to evaluate the value of the various battle passes. And you could definitely calculate that value at like four to ten times what you're paying for it. But then again, you're not necessarily going to be buying all that stuff anyway since it's all bundled. And once you buy it, you still have to work for the rewards for the most part. So, you know, just trying to help you make an informed buying decision. Uh, that will be archived on YouTube. Oh, my plan was to have it ready by 10 p.m. Central tonight on YouTube, but I don't think it will be. But it's still available on Twitch, and I'll get it over to YouTube as soon as I overcome my laziness and distraction. So probably tomorrow. Hmm, what else have we got? Oh yeah, well, we're talking about the uh, the Battle Pass. So, only up to four here. I played a little bit of 
what's this other thing? Steel Hunter? I don't like it. Uh, so we're making a little bit of progress here. I don't have the uh, improved reward yet. But remember, you can basically complete everything and then pay for the improved pass and those rewards will be uh, immediately given to you, granted to you, um, as long as you've completed that stage. So let's say I pay for it right now, I'm on stage four, I will immediately be rewarded this premium time, these reserves and these reserves. And I believe you can do that right up until the last day. I wouldn't do that, but you know, you could. And then the, the downside is if you want to do the one that includes daily gold, you got to give yourself at least 30 days or you're not going to get all that gold. And if you're not going to be logging in and starting at least one game per day for 30 days, then you're not getting the, the true value of that gold. Although, as long as you get half of them, it's still, you're going to break even on what it costs if you just buy the gold. The other thing is, missions, I, I did pay for the, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called now, but there's an extra s sort of like a chapter or mission set, and I did buy that, and we're most of the way through that, and so if I destroy four more vehicles, I'm going to get another 150 bonds. We've gotten, I want to say, 150 bonds up to this point, and then after that, be among the top 10, 10 times, get another 200 bond, plus training books, gold uh, for each stage. Uh, we'll get a, is this a 2D style? I think this is a 3D style, which can only be, a, probably can only be applied to French vehicles. The commander can only be applied to French vehicles. That's the one thing I don't like about, um, or my biggest complaint about Battle Pass this time is the commanders are locked to a nation. What else we got? So today we're going to be focusing on the T26 E5 page. Oh, I just considered something. If I return this crew, I believe... Oh, man, my Patriot and my Renegade share a crew. <sighs> Although I could put my E3 or my M3Y crew in the Renegade. That's probably what I need to do. Although my T29 crew is definitely better. So I believe it's the same thing. Commander, gunner, driver, loader, and then the Renegade is commander, gunner, driver, loader. So that'll work. Uh, they're just not fully trained yet. Uh, maybe I can do a crew book on them. So that it'll at least have brothers in arms. Ooh, wow, yeah, this is two million dollars or two credits to purchase that uh, um, oh and they're not fully trained yet so and I don't want to spend the gold to train them yep we're just screwed until they get up to 100% uh, on their primary so we'll send those guys to the barracks get into the renegade and what are we looking for here Whoa. Oh yeah, I do have a good commander. <coughs> M3Y. M3Y. Where are you? And M3Y. So we'll take these guys out. Now this exterior, as I was mentioning before, that we saw on the donation page when you come into exterior it will be under custom style camouflage and you get four of these so when you apply those to a tank you're only applying to a section it doesn't like that huh so there it went on and now I don't have any more so I've got two on the other one or I'm sorry three on the other one and one on here uh, it it kind of falls short. It would be nice if they had done nine sheets. I'm calling these uh, each of these a sheet. If they had done nine sheets, or if the, it had been a 2D style, it's something like it. It does. It's just a little thing. It's just a little mm, not quite you know as good as it could be. Uh, so I've got the 
the canine camo on the desert and then just other camo on the other seasons. And I got my big German Shepherd on the front of the turret. Oh, what fun. Are we ready to begin? Are we done with my yammering? Let's take a look at our missions. So, destroy a vehicle, get five critical hits in a battle. We might be able to do that in the Renegade. Uh, I'll just have to remember to focus on tracks. Let's see, be among the top three players on your team by damage caused. I don't know if I can do that in the Renegade. I've got two hours to reset this, and I, eh, we'll just try it. And this is a 20,000 experience uh, crew training book. So, let's just go, eh? Pitter-patter. Let's get at her. I'm all talked out. Now I don't have anything left to say. Ooh. So what are we? We are a tier 8 in a tier 10 battle! Alright, time to shine, right? It's a slow medium, unless you can hide the cupola. Yeah, so unless you're firing through like a window that covers your cupola. That cupola is pretty vulnerable. It's kind of a small target if you can keep moving, which means it's harder for you to aim as well, uh, then it's somewhat vulnerable. So as you can see, we are not taking off like a shot, but we are moving okay. I don't remember what my uh, equipment is. I might have put a turbo on this. If this is with a turbo, I'd hate to see without. Uh, and we're going to pass them on the outside. One way to try to help protect your cupola is to fire over the side of your tank and then as you're moving forwards and backwards uh, that gives your opponent a side-to-side -side, uh, target to hit. Also if we go up here to this corner unless someone's right on top of us then that distance can also be beneficial. But again if we keep the turret to the side and we're rocking back and forth that does make a uh, something of a difficult moving target. We're, we are not crossing there. Nice shot. Nice little snapshot there. It's kind of the something of the of why you like the Renegade. It makes those snapshots. We're expecting another Renegade to, to round this corner here in a moment. Well, we tracked him. I'll just use my friend here for protection, like he's a big condom. So that renegade is on half health, and he looks like he's not having a good time. Ooh, what do we got here? Did I hit my friend? No, I just missed everything. Here comes an artillery strike. Oh, it's not for us. 95 looks like he wants to go up to the corner. Can we get that lower plate? Nope. Or I might have hit exactly where I aimed. I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, drive in front of me and then reverse. Yeah. Mind reading is what the heck? So he only hit us for 394. Is that the small gun? Going for that cupola. Bounced a shot from a T95. Although, again, it's probably the small gun. And he's retreating because he doesn't have as much health as he would like to have. My 
might be able to get a side shot on this E100. No, he's got too many friends right here. Let's see if we can put that in his lower plate. What do we got? Three seconds. Whoa, there's a bad guy. And which way is this guy going? Oh, let's get him. And I'm going to go ahead and retreat. Taking some damage. Okay, yeah, somebody just overextended himself there. Was it me? <laughs> yes, it, yes, it was. I'm going to get around here for a moment. Right, we're just about not stunned. Big condoms offer zero protections. <laughs> you want good fitting. <laughs> um, so our t oh man, 268, interesting retreat. It looks like we're probably going to lose this. Um, hooray for our team. Let's go to T56 can take me out with a double shot. Looks like he's reloading now because he's retreating. Just because someone's retreating doesn't mean they're reloading. It can mean that. I don't want to mess up my buddy's side scrape here. It nailed that cupola. Oh, I'd like to see the instant replay on that. But that looked like it went right where I aimed. That Bisante might be a problem. Uh oh, uh oh. We're stunned, which is going to mess up our dispersion, reload time, all that good nonsense. Reco suave. Alright, and okay. He was going to give us a side shot there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. once again, the gun performance, right? Oh, no! We didn't even... Okay, I didn't think he had a shot on me. I thought he was retreating. Mmm! Still, OP? We did bounce some uh, shots. I'd like to know for sure if, if the uh, T95 had the small gun. He hit us for 400, and we blocked... Well, we blocked 400. So if we go back to the garage, we can look at the uh, the tech tree. I think that is the smaller gun, though. Because you should be doing like what seven hundred? So the top gun, seven fifty. Medium gun, four hundred. Lower gun, probably also oh three twenty. Wow, so rate of fire on that. Even that is seven seconds. That's that's not fair. <laughs> 18 seconds. Wow, I forgot that. Is that... Has it always been 18 seconds? Wow, I don't remember that being 18 seconds. That'd be hellacious to sit through. Uh, okay, so we've got a crew in there. We, so we also have a crew in the Patriot. We can get going in that. <laughs> I had a friend that always used to talk about how he needed to get some Magnums. And it's just like, no, no, you don't. <laughs> you're, you're not really fooling anyone. All right, so we got the victory. Did I? I guess I didn't click battle. Got the victory. Should I apply that? No, I might play some tech tree tanks later. Uh, we obviously didn't have any blind fires. Team score. Top five. And we made 109,000 without any reserves. But, we, oh, I see. We may, we had uh, 50,000 from completing a mission. Well, that's cheating. But let's go ahead and take the Patriot out. Now, I remember the Patriot as having a comparatively fast reload time for a heavy tank, but it also has a lower alpha. And I want to say it has pretty good penetration. 
Probably should have looked at that while we were in the garage. Standard battle. We're starting from the north. It's tier eight. Do I want to go into town? Against a Basante Defender, Patriot, and T26? I don't know. It's maybe. Maybe I should. We've got an Emil, an M3, and a Progetto 54. Prego. All right, so we can see our reload time is six and a half seconds. We've got a 90 millimeter cannon, 240 alpha damage, 230 penetration. So, and a uh, thousand meters per second of shell velocity. Sometimes this tank feels a little quick. Uh, sometimes it does not. It's definitely a heavy tank. Uh oh, my friends are not going into the city with me. I'm not that familiar with the city. Um, okay, we don't really have the shots I want here. And I think if I come up to this dirt pile, not to be confused with Gomer, then I don't have a hole down. What is he shooting at? Got a Vato up here on the hill. A little bit slow aim time, huh? Could have had another shot on that Progetto. I didn't didn't predict it though. Don't get that tunnel vision. Not enough penetration there. Doesn't look like anyone's coming through the town at us. Bounced a 4202 off the front, uh, probably off the turret, almost certainly with this big pile of dirt in front of me. No shots on the defender. If someone comes up here, they're going to be able to shoot me in the butt. What we got here. Could have gotten his cupola, but you know, it was a risky. Unlikely to connect kind of shot. Oh, wow. I thought he would have been too far over the hill, but there was just enough there. So we missed. I'm surprised this guy's sticking it out like that. He's just... Keeps giving us something to shoot at. Try to track him. Try to hit his mantlet. That one didn't go yeah, I didn't think it would. Ooh, there's a window right there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. feels like cheating. I should not be hyper focused like this. It might get me killed. Then it looks like we tracked him again. All right, let's get so that we're not going to get. Killed. He's on the other side of the hill. I'm sticking it way out there. Now, if the STA crosses over here and gets spotted, I think he's going to stay behind those buildings, though. 
And we know that, whoa, we know that 42. Ah, it's too slow. Too low. Oh, and we tracked him. So if he doesn't have a repair kit, he's going to be right here. I don't know if that hit or not. We'll fire another one. Okay, that one hit dirt. So that previous one probably hit him. Progetto, he's on the... I think he's over the ridge. Uh, he was looking right at us. Kind of lucky we didn't get shot. Oh, he might have been looking at that guy. He fired in desperation. Can I cross here? I don't even know if I can cross here. <gasps> I can. Shows you how often I go this way. I, oh, and I can even go up that hill. Probably gonna get some cheeky shots here. Oh, look, a booty! I should have uh, tried to track him so I could get some assistance. Well, too late now. So we've got that guy over there, and then two that we don't know where they are. Ooh, there's a speedy K. Mr. Penetration. No, Mr. Penetration is my adult film name. Do we have a shot? I believe we do. We're not having a bad game, are we? I don't know that we got a... Yeah. Oh my goodness. We are just landing some shots this round. I think I've missed one. That should be it. Yeah, that's the game. 2,411. As you can see, though, I was not very aggressive. I was not um, face-hugging. Oh, we got Confederate. Yeah. Uh, how many shots did I miss or not penetrate? Oh, there was one on the Defender. Yeah. So we fired 20. We only hit 14. Okay. And then we penetrated 11. So we penetrated half of the shots, and I felt like we didn't miss anything. All right. It's still a good feeling. Uh, what do we, oh, and so we got that mission as well, apparently. We got 27 battle pass points because we got 25 for the mission, and then... Uh, Where we top two, so we got another seven there. So was it second premium mission, third daily mission? So that gave us twenty right there. I like it. And again, money. We made ninety thousand. We took very little damage, so that's part of that. And we didn't fire any premium rounds. Renegade then. How far do these guys have to go before they are... Oh, just a little bit more. Actually, oh, wait, 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 wait. If I go back here and apply this, that's probably enough to get the crew to fully trained, right? Yeah. 117, 117, okay, so they're all 117. Mm, excuse me. So we'll put them back in the the yo tank so that we can use the crew book. And then we'll see what we can do here. Let's see. We've got 10 of these. Each is 20,000 and I just did that thing. So it's their first one 
20,000, so they're going to need more than 200,000, aren't they? So first crew scale, yeah, 200,000, and if we're at 50%, currently 43%, then that's going to be like less than a third of that 20,000. So if we use all of these books, it's it's going to be enough to get them over the top, but I'm going to do something crazy and I'm just going to purchase one of these. That's right, you saw it here. And then we'll apply that and then that'll get them halfway through their next one. Whoosh! I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't gotten 3 million, almost 4 million credits for the, uh, the Patriot that, it, that I already own. Okay, so that'll give them brothers in arms. What else do we want to put on them? There, it's a heavy tank, so maybe it repairs. Snapshot. Uh, yeah, try to maximize the deadliness of this tank. So smooth ride. Yeah. And then loader. I don't know. Do we want intuition, safe storage? That's uh, kind of a tough one. Or repairs. If we look at uh, our... Pro Oops, the wrong tank. If we look at our probability of engine fire in the Renegade, it's probably 12%. 20%. So even um, firefighting wouldn't be a bad idea. But, yeah. I'm having a little trouble deciding here. What do you think? Repairs, firefighting, intuition, safe stowage, adrenaline rush. I don't. I don't think so. It. It doesn't to me feel like enough of a benefit. You can. Well, it doesn't say the exact amount here, but I believe it only gives you. If you're under ten percent, it gives you only a ten percent increase in loading speed, which is you know like an extra rammer, but. Considering the, all the other things that you can get instead, it doesn't feel like that is the best choice. Uh, safe stowage. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to go with safe stowage. Talk me out of it, and I'll spend the gold and, and change it. All right, so let's get back in the Renegade. That's the wrong button. That's not like me to hit the wrong button. And get into the battle. So what did we just win again? So we got some credits and some credits. Get uh, ramming directive and three days of premium time when we finish this stage. I should have checked to see... Oh, we made progress on our other mission too, right? Oh, I guess I need to kill three more tanks. All right. SpongeBob! What was I watching last night? I tried to watch, um... Everything, Everywhere, All of the Time, or whatever it's called. Oh, I just couldn't stay awake. But that was more me than the movie. I was, I was too drowsy. So watching the movie was a bad idea. Oh man, when I got home from work this morning. I put on some uh, a CD, an album, whatever you want to call it. It's all MP3s. I, I don't think I got through the first song before I was just gone. All right, so we're a renegade. But the okay, so the only other tier eight heavy is also a renegade. I guess I gotta go down here to what is that five J J five, but.
yeah, peaking ridge lines. This is not the way in the Renegade. Uh, let's see, we also have a T29 and a Tiger, as well as a Kava 2. What was that thing back there? VK 45 with. Oh, I'm looking at the enemy team. They. <laughs> They have a T-29 and a Tiger-1, as well as a Kava-2. Whereas we have the Black Prince. It looks like the Renegade is working the middle, rather than the south. Oh, he might... I don't know what he's doing. Is he going to try to push the middle, or is he going to try to go north from the middle? Or is he just going to try to work those rocks? No, he's he's in the dip, isn't he? All right, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to come low. Sweet chariot. Wow, a T-78 is just acting like he has armor. But I'm here to tell you, he does not. My cupola is on the right side, so I'm going to try to protect my right side. Ooh, what do we got here? It's a Hellcat. He's looking for me to fire so that he can fire at me. Oh, that was badly played by me. He's probably just a good player that's counting on me not being a good player. Oh, look, we're winning. Oh, he's looking at me. Look at me, look at me. I wanted to get the damage and the uh, and the track. Wow, I got shot by an AT-8 from up there. So he's yeah, he's probably right here where his icon is. And he's running. I could try to go through those buildings to to get the shot. I could try to not run into the building. Who gave you a license? Is the AT-8 dead? I believe he is. Oh, Speedy K. I'm going to load a HE. Follow it up with a AP. Oh, I freaking missed. I, I hit the bump. <sighs> that was interesting. Who got him? P44. Who's also firing at me. Yeah. We just outclassed him. I've only got 700 damage so far. Everything's going to be dead before I get to it. So the enemy team's renegade was uh, definitely not OP. Faster! No shot there. Oh, there is a shot. Did I? I did actually hit him for for twelve damage. 
So we broke a thousand. Let's take a look at our equipment. Because I suspect we do not have a turbo. I was really feeling it going up that hill. Alright, there's a win. Did we get a kill? We did not get a kill. We need to get some kills for our mission. So we do have a turbo. So without a turbo, climbing hills and uh, trying to clean up at the end of a battle would be even harder. We've got a rammer on here. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best choice of equipment, but I'm not really willing to sacrifice any of these. Should we go again or should we do it? Let's go again and then we can do a Patriot. I wonder if they're going to have another one of those bonus Mission Marathon chapters where you have to earn Battle Pass points to get the new tank. If they do, I imagine it's going to be more than 40 chapters. I'd like to come to this window right here, but you're too vulnerable to people's up here. So we got some gas cans and turn this way in case someone gets up there fast enough to get a shot on us before we get into safety which can happen for sure oh we're up against tier nines as well they didn't notice that Ooh, they have a cobra well they didn't sneak anyone up there get some damage what is our penetration 226, that's not bad. How's my angle? It's not bad. I'm not sure where I hit him. I think I, his tracks absorbed it. I'm a little surprised I hit him. Not my track. Luckily, these guys aren't getting side shots on us. Should we push on him? Probably. We've got the numbers. Plus, we can also try to help over here. Ooh, who wants to kill a cobra? I know I do. I'm not going to get a shot on that hawk. What is he shooting at? I didn't realize there were shots to be had here. Of course, I'm not side scraping, so arguably this is pretty dumb. Where's that T 30 go? Now, if they're up on this hill, I think I can just go right through him. Ooh, little server lag there. T30 right there. Let's just go right there. This feels like a very aggressive push. I was not very well aimed. I was going for the lower plate. I hit the lower plate, but I did not feel confident that that was going to land. 
Uh, Alright, do we have a shot here? Yeah, the gun performance is what makes this tank what it is. Oh, mama. An ISU up there, if we can't shoot this guy. We can try to go through that armor, but I don't like the angle. And the ISU is missing. He was right around here. Let's just blind fire right there. Can't tell if that hit anything or not. It looks like the Cobra is dead already. Luha, being nice and cagey. We can blame him. What do we got over here? Yeah, we probably just need to ignore these guys for now. Still a Kanon and Yagpans are over here, probably. If he gets spotted. I can't believe that hit. I aimed a little low and I I felt like I could have um, led him a little better. Oh my god! <laughs> the Pixel Hunter has arrived. Pixel sniper? So, I'm a little bit vulnerable over here. Should we take a blind fire? Yeah, it definitely hit the ground. I was not spotted, so he's not right there. Okay. Didn't think I would have a shot. Let's just go for it. Be a brave toaster. Should we try to go for the pixel shot? Why not? Oh, ho, ho, cheated. Cheated from our quarry. Quarry? Quarry. Whoa, I got shot in the butt by a Lorraine. And he has a magazine. So I'm lucky I only got shot once. Wow, we're at 2,900 damage. Remember when I said this tank sucks and it doesn't have any potential? I never said that. I, I, I actually never said that. But <laughs> had I, I would be eating my words. Alright, let's... I was going to say let's lead the charge, but... Our blinding speed is not overwhelming. What do we got left? Got a heavy tank up there, we got a medium tank right here. I could, probably could have just snapshotted him on the move. See if we can get the, the tracking shot. Oh, just a little too slow. If I was using a bounty rammer or a ramming directive, I would have gotten the kill. But those things are expensive. Those directives, if you buy those. I didn't realize that uh, I had run out and that uh, I was auto-purchasing between, I don't I think it might have been the AMBT or something like that. And it's charging you like five to 10 bonds or something each time. All right, we got Confederate again. Great gun handling. We... I thought we already finished that stage. It's so confusing sometimes. So we got seven battle pass points. Some good stuff. Yeah, that's pretty cool, bro. Um, yeah, let's give the uh, Patriot a chance to shine. Oh, we didn't look at our team score. 
so among our peers and again we were top tier uh wow 3640 damage that's pretty nifty um how many kills did we get zero we need to get some kills bro I don't know. If we go back and look at the um, my mediocre tanker plays renegade video versus the what is it three games I've had today? There's a difference. Ooh, I need a better thumbnail for that one. I could probably still make a better thumbnail. Where are we? Oh, ooh. Someone already uh, got their battle pass paint. I, yeah. For the uh, Renegade, I was going to put that canine camouflage on there, thinking it was a 2D style, and I'm going back and forth through the 2D styles, and I couldn't find it. It's like, what? So I started looking at every tank. I was like, I just got that this morning. Did I put that on another tank and forget to take it off? Or So I went through all of my Tier 6s, several of my Tier 4s, all of my tier 10s, all of my tier 9s, all of my tier 8s. It's like, I can't find that camouflage on anything. It's like, wait, what if it's not a 2D style? And there it was. Four sheets of standard camouflage. And I was four sheets to the wind! Um, so this has a vulnerable cupola as well, but it's much smaller. It's a little bit harder to hit, although STB-1 has a good gun. Oh my god, 40-05 also has a good gun. And he hit me for 233. No, the STB hit me. Wait. I hit the 40 out 5. The STB one hit me with heat. I don't think I can pin that 114 either. I just chirped. Oh, he did clap me. Where did he get me? Just Oh, wow. Was that his shot? It is the biggest hole. He might have gone... Th I think the 40 out 5 probably went through my mantlet. Wow. That's a big shot. I thought that was a soft spot on top. I guess not. I don't want to block my friend's retreat. Oh, I thought that was going to be a kill shot. Left him on 140. I forgot I have low alpha. All right, well, we're up against some tier 10s there. We still made almost a thousand damage. Maybe I was too aggressive. Uh, maybe. Yeah, well, and that 40 out 5, it's kind of his job to ruin your day, and uh, he kind of did. Something I noticed while I was putting the camouflage on the camouflage on the barrel is a much smaller, tighter pattern. If, uh, let's see, look at that. So, like, if we look at this, hello? Can I not? It's not letting me select it. Maybe if I select this first, or 
<sighs> All right, this is... I can't even tell what this is. So it is this, right? There we go. So if we hit this dot, we can change the size to large, medium, or small. And the small here is about the same pattern as it is on the barrel, but the barrel is set to large. So if we go with small, it's tiny. Uh huh. So that just looks wrong to me. I don't have OCD, but uh, sometimes it feels that way. But knowing someone with OCD, I uh, recognize that I don't have it. Hmm. So I saw Quickie Baby's review of the Cobra today. It looks pretty good. It looks like its specialty is bursting down um, medium and lightly tiered, not, not tiered, light, lightly armored and mediocre armored tanks. Kind of like the Astron Rex, but it empties its whole magazine in less than four seconds, I want to say, or right about four seconds. Uh, oh, wait, we got tier... I didn't look at the... All right, let's head over here. I don't know that we're going to be of much value. Part of me wants to come right here and do a little snipe. Yeah, if I had just made, if I'd just gone for that to begin with, I might have gotten a shot on that guy. <sighs> Finally missed a shot. doing up here? What kind of crazy Vato comes up here in a heavy tank? Uh-oh! Ah! Wow, look at that. Look like a starfish. Getting hit from every angle. That's what kind of fool goes up there in a heavy tank. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, if I hadn't committed uh, so that I could have retreated back down the hill, it might have worked, but I would have probably had to be going forward for an effective retreat. Wow, we won that one in the Patriot. Surprising. How far down the list was I? About halfway. And we made 38,000. Let's go again. Kind of wish I had battle hits there, but to see where the 40 out 5 hit me. But I mean, what else could have penetrated me through the. Well, the STB 1 was firing heat, so maybe he could have penetrated me through the mantlet. I didn't realize that one shot that was low on the turret. I didn't realize I had that much exposed. But then again, I was trying to get up there and use that bounce, you know, where you hit the brake and that causes your tank to rock forward to give you a little bit more gun depression. 
Okay, so we've got tier 8s exclusively. I could try to go to town, but I'm actually going to go south and see if we can work the ridges in the uh, village. Is that like a... Is this like an airport runway down here? It's kind of what it looks like. I never thought about that before. Wow, there's a clan called Donkey. I'm not surprised. Okay, I'm a little surprised, but I shouldn't be. Maybe I should join Donkey. Eh, they probably want to be involved in their reindeer games. What, yeah, one thing I like about my clan is it used to be active, so we've got a lot of clan perks but we're not active anymore so nobody is like hey how come you never help out the team how come you don't participate in the things that we do because there's there's really no um we you ever played world of warplanes i kind of liked it when it first came out but that didn't last I like playing the uh, the Japanese fighters, which are have really good uh, turning, but they're a little bit slow, and they're fairly fragile. So you had to outgrace everybody, and then the way heavy fighters worked in that game is they could out accelerate everything, even in a climb. So they would just climb, 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 and then dive and uh, do diving attacks and then climb away. Well, hello there. I didn't think I would penetrate their armor, but it was worth a try. What's going on over there? Shots there. And we don't have any shots here. We almost have shots here. Let's shoot that. Oh, up tiger. I figured that would be destructible. I was wrong. So I'm going to spend all my time distracted by these guys when I need to be putting a little thought and effort into this guy. T-34-3, he's got uh, yeah, 390 alpha. That's glad he didn't pin. Oh, look at this tiny little Vato. Of course, I'm giving him my butt to shoot, so that's a mistake. Probably reloading. Not necessarily, but you know. Oh wow, we are losing badly. So what are what what should we do? We should push. And we should push hard. But that's probably not much of an option. No shot. Oh, I was hoping for a shot there. That would have been so delightful. <gasps> I see Sebastian. What are you doing, buddy? The what? Fruit Loops? You ate them all. Yeah, you poured yourself a bowl when you got home from school, but that was the last of them. Yeah, I'm kind of overextended here, but we're getting surrounded, so I kind of need to overextend. I 
hit the dirt. Yeah, he's he's ready to shoot my lower plate. Just when I was thinking that he was not going to engage me. And he's got a fairly long reload, but I'm going to be vulnerable to this guy while I'm approaching. Nearly tracked him. Barask is going to double shot me. They had a lot of people. It's like, are, did they only have 15 people? It seemed like they had more. You guys pop boosters? I did not pop boosters. I probably could have, but... I didn't have three hours, so I didn't want to use the good ones. And I'm running... Tanks that make decent money as it is. Mm, wouldn't hurt, but yeah, in that situation, I don't know that being more cautious would have helped. It was really just delaying the inevitable as the noose got tighter. And when I moved up, my friends didn't do anything about that they just stayed in position so we did not have the dynamism the violence the power the speed um, to quote what's his name uh, it, uh, yeah we were just lambs to slaughter I suppose one thing I could have done was just like hide behind other people and try to trade shots with people that were shooting my friends. Ooh, what are we going to do here? Oh, man. Should we go up there? Not the best ridgeline tank. Uh, I don't want to snipe. Working this coast over here. That could be difficult. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to go on up the coast. Going to try something different, something that couldn't possibly work. Going to try to get out here. And I don't know if there's a defensible position. And if I don't have support, it's just not going to go well for T-Ray. You know, you try new things, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Try to figure out why they didn't work and already spotted. I don't know if I'm still spotted or not. I do now. So, since we don't have a lot of health left, we're just <laughs> we're just gonna redline it. Anyone gonna hold that against me? I'm actually within view range of the ah man, I'm gonna mess up the skipper keys. Speedy K, Shrek.
Uh oh. As I, I was within view spotting range, but I don't believe I was spotted. I didn't want to fire if I could be spotted. This is too bad because we could have done some damage there. I think that hit him. Might have bounced, but I think it made contact. Yeah, we are just gonna lose. I'm gonna load an HE. Whoa! What's this guy doing? Still can't drive. You didn't see that one. Good morning, Five Cent. I'm glad you didn't see that. Be thankful. Um, let's see. I don't believe we've gotten our kill mission yet. Nope, still need three more. So today I'm just featuring the two tanks that you can get from uh, donating to Canines for Warriors. $33, two tier 8 heavies, and they're both pretty good. Well, one's really good, and the other one is pretty good. Would you say that the Patriot is pretty good or really good? I'd, it used to be really good. I'd say it's still pretty good. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure if it's just North America or if it's uh, North and South. It seems like it would be just a North America thing. Since it's basically for U.S. veterans. Uh, they're the beneficiaries of the charitable service. That's weird. I I just realized I've never considered donating to another country's veteran services. But then again, maybe our country is the only one that has really bad veteran services. I don't know what to do here. Oh my god, tier 10s! <laughs> I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to try to go up to this little cubby right here. You go ahead, sir. Uh, and then see if I can harass enemies back the other way. Yeah, I was watching the, the Quickie Baby one. It It's one of those lopsided tanks, it seems like, where what it's good at, it's really good at, but then it has some vulnerabilities as well. Like that super long reload time and not great armor but it seems like it has decent enough mobility and uh, I believe the turret armor is pretty good Wow Patriot versus 121B who will win? Wargaming oh man slow reflexes Conqueror is that tier 9? I made contact. And now he's invisible. -able.
yeah, I was planning on going right where the E50 is. Four thirty U is up here or was up there. Oh, I was hoping that I was going to get that side turret. There we go. Uh-oh, he's looking towards me. Maybe I can get through here. I might be able to go through his side right there. Uh-oh. Well, fiddlesticks. That hit the ground. How's my tunnel vision? It's extra tunnely. Hold down for fast f food service workers. <laughs> Canines for x-ray technicians. Well, yeah, I don't know if you caught the part earlier where uh, I went into cynical mode. And I was saying, every time you hear a heartwarming story about someone overcoming financial adversity, um, medical difficulties, whatever, ba basically anyone, anytime someone is desperate and benefits from charity, it's because the entire system is broken that allows these situations of desperation to exist, or to actually cause them to exist. Not just allow, but cause. Who spotted me? Probably this guy over here. I can try to side scrape out on him. Just a 53 TP. I mean, sure, he's got good turret armor. It does have a cupola, though. Wow. Where, where did that shot come from? It felt like it was from behind me. Um, well, I think we're going to lose. All right, I should be not spotted now. Let's see if I can... Okay, I'm spotted. And with a damaged engine, it's going to be hard to maneuver. So let's go ahead and fix that. And then let's just sit here and bore him to death. I shall employ my greatest, most lethal weapon, boredom. I thought shame was... Uh, Now, in order to side scrape out on this guy, which he's shooting down on me, so side scraping isn't going to help that much. Um, I've got to back up to where the 121 can get me. Except he can't get me from there. Oh, the, okay, the Type 61 has moved. So, oh man, I can, I don't, this feels very risky. I don't know if I can cross over to here. Now that the 430 is not spotted, this feels extra risky. All right, I'm hidden at least. Mostly. I guess there's a... I can be shot through this little gap. Oh, they have two Type 61s.
smile. Whoa! Who did the loader? So we're going to be vulnerable to this guy. And this guy, and that guy. And, yeah. Mm, I was hoping it would shake things up and give my team an opportunity to get some shots. Force the enemy to move into vulnerable positions. And it may have done that a little bit, but not as much as I'd hoped. I was also hoping I'd be able to sneak up on that 121. Get, like, I kind of forgot that my goal was to get behind this building. I was just trying to survive and get across this field. Hold down. Let's see. Um, hold down for back hose. Yeah. <laughs> hold down for hose. And why isn't the uh, the end of the muzzle camouflaged? Do they really want the enemy to spot us? Let's see, we got less than an hour to go on the show. roll out. What do we got here? All tier 8s? I have an all tier motive. No, that, that doesn't quite work. This spot worked pretty well for us the last time. If I could just get around that, yeah. And with the um, cupola on the right side of the turret, probably I should have gone to the right side of the... Uh, Is that that airplane getting shot? Uh-oh. I'm vulnerable. What's this guy doing? He's going to come around here, maybe. Oh, there he is. I'm not sure how many shots he fired. No damage. Are you trying to side scrape, bro? Man, I keep getting hung up on the terrain, or the buildings. I guess buildings are not really terrain. Feels like there's a shot, but there isn't. What? Okay, the first time the Renegade has really whiffed a shot. Looks like I just need to come in and help out with the power push. Whoa. 
Oh, what happened to the power push? So the Skoda is probably on a magazine reload. And this guy doing. Ooh, there's a speedy K up on the hill. Think we can hit him? There's the speedy K. Has a magazine. Just trying to get him. Kind of trying to draw him out, but it worked against me. window right here, isn't there? Yeah, it'd be hard to shoot through that. And here I'm relying more on the concealment than the cover. Need the bro, you're blocking my shot mod. Uh, let's just cross. We're not doing any good here. Engage snorkel. When did we get a thousand damage? I don't remember doing a thousand damage. We're full health, we've got a little bit of armor, so I think we're just gonna see if we can bully this T-27. Except my buddy's gonna bully him first. Pincer maneuver! Ah, oh, Too slow. Well, I'm just gonna sit here and feel sorry for myself while the game winds down. No, you couldn't go that way. And I don't think I'm going to get a shot. Nope. You ever had this happen? You're like going along, everything's cool, you're kind of optimistic, and then you realize, oh, I've got to go to work today. <sighs> no. We made some money there, but it was some of that was uh, more than half of it was from a mission. Not even top half of the team. I was 1,500 damage in the first three minutes of the... Hmm. Let's, uh, let's go Renegade again. Woof, woof. Reminder. World of Tanks joins forces with canines for warriors. Follow the link, donate $33, get the Renegade and the Patriot for $33. You're donating to charity, 
Wargaming doesn't see a dime of this. Get the, the two tanks, 14 days of premium, uh, four sheets of camouflage, and a bunch of decals. And it's for a good cause. And I thought I had this visible while I was doing that. World of Tanks joins forces with Canines for Warriors it's right here on the the client launcher. Sometimes it's hard to find. World of Tank joins forces. There we go. Go to the bottom. For twenty-two dollars, you can get just the Patriot. If you want just the camouflage and some premium days, that's eleven. But donate thirty-three dollars and get the Renegade and the Patriot. And if you already have them, you'll get the. Um, credit value for the one you already have, which will be like three and a half million credits. Wait, I'm a heavy tank and I'm top tier. I should be going into town, right? Man, I am just messing this up. I guess the Borat already fired his first shot or he was having trouble aiming. I don't know. So, how not to play? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the T-Ray Show. It is a cautionary tale. What's that sign say? Bacteray? I don't even know what language that is. Is, is it German? Is it French? Where are we? Ruinberg? It's some sort of European language. Come the wrong way. You're not even trying, bro. You're just playing around and goofing off. Yes, but he who has the most fun wins. This is the wrong tank for this because your hold down doesn't create that much of an advantage with this giant tumor on top. Merely tracked him. Oh no, I did 358 damage also. How about that? What have we got over here? Uh, maybe? No. Ah! How foolish I was. What did I hit? Oh my gosh, it's a turn bargain. I've got the tumor. He does not. Okay, what I'm thinking... If I may quote, if I may quote Iron Maiden, Run to the hills. I don't really know. There are several tanks that still haven't been spotted, so as I round this corner, I may oh, I also need to worry about this Borask. Crap. Oh no! Not gonna get that second shot. I should. I'm, I'm loading heat. I'm sorry, HE right now. Just, you know, just loading some HE. It's no big. I only did 65 damage. And, yeah, he's thinking, okay, well, it's only 65 damage. Why should I worry about it? And then 84 on the follow-up. So apparently I don't have very good penetration on my HE rounds. 53? I still thought that would have been enough. Oh, and the skipper key. Oh, the T-103. Hmm. Eh.
Good thing I don't take this too seriously most of the time. I just really wanted to play the Patriot. How am I doing on that mission? Have I gotten any kills since I last checked? One. I believe I got one. All right, then. Let's get some kills. That'll get us 300 gold, 150 bonds, some training booklets. A good time will be had. What will that get? Let's see. Excel. So for the fourth stage, you get 150 bonds, 300 gold, one universal manual, so that's worth 250 um, crew XP across your crew. Here we go. And then once we finish five, which will be 10 games in the top 10, uh, we'll get a personal training manual as well as the 3D style, 300 gold and 200 bonds. So that's something to look for. Oh, good. Tier 10s. Yeah, and I was I was worried that it would be challenging. What is this? Is that like a dino? Do I? Okay, that's different than what I have on my Chinese tier 10. I like that. What is that style? Shut up and take my money. Uh, interesting look. Is that just a potato? I'm not sure how I can be helpful here. Just cover the cobra while he's reloading. was I spotted? There's no aerial reconnaissance in this game. Even if I had hit his lower plate, it would have bounced off at that angle. Uh-oh, here comes the... Oh, wow. How many arties do they have? Just the one. If I go up a little bit more, I don't think I have the gun depression to to make that work. Damn. Asking for trouble. See, there's the problem. I'm not firing gold. It has nothing to do with me being tier 8. So even this even 90, and that's not an even 90, can take me out. I would have read the map backwards, the even 90s way down there. Gates back. I'm pretty sure we did not get a kill there. Why does that take? 
take so long. More Renegade. Did we lose that one? Yeah, we lost that one. It's all my fault. It's goofing off at the beginning and then tried to make some crazy maneuver there. So we're defending. And it's tier 10s again. Hmm. Someone says uh, they have one and seven. I think they meant seven and one. I have one and seven, so I've got that going for me. So I replied, which is nice, because it's a Bill Murray and Caddyshack. Fear my desert camo. Oh wow, we took the hill. You don't see that too often. We lost the hill. We took it and then we lost it. Until he finishes firing. Mm, and then he ran away. So we gotta do something here before he comes back. Really? Oh, I tried to shoot his cupola and it didn't work. Right, and so unless he's got a faster reload than me. <laughs> Once again. All right, where'd that Cobra go? Is he still alive? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Alright, I was going to go after the guy on the hill, but that's not a thing now. Who spotted me? Is it the Skoda? Oh, set him on fire! Is he turning my way? I'm getting shot in the butt. Speedy case firing heat. So, am I going to load HE this time? No, I'm not. T95 is still alive. I should be able to get a side shot on him right here. AE Phase 1 is looking at me. That was a horrible shot. We bounced him. I don't know who has the better rate of fire. Oh, all, all I can see is the top of his tank, so... Alright, Batshat is moving this way. I want to be prepared to back him up if he spots something. I also want to be able to flank. I think he was spotted because it looks like artillery's coming in on him. No? Let's see if I get spotted.
Oh, did I do 1,500 damage in the first three minutes? It appears that I did. Okay, the Manticore has pulled back. Let's see if I get spotted this time. This is fairly risky. I gotta worry about people up on that shelf, too. That's not the one I was thinking of. All right, everybody has been spotted. I don't know when the last time the Stuttertwagen was spotted. So he could have moved up here. I think I'll be safe from shots until I get to the end here. Unless he's actually up here. But it could also be that the Manticore has really good camouflage and when he's not firing I just can't spot him. So there's someone up here. It's hard to believe, there he is, that the Manticore made it all the way over there without getting spotted. But, like I said, there he is. And that's some good camouflage. Again, it doesn't feel like we did... Well, we got that fire on the T-95, so that's probably how we got... 2600 damage. We've got a pretty good alpha on this t this gun, 360. I think that's the same as the STB1. Still no kills. <laughs> well, we're not in a hurry. We don't have to get them tonight. Uh, let's make sure that we got our daily missions done. I believe we do, but I wouldn't swear to it. No, we can't. Okay, so we do need three kills. I need to focus on getting those kills. It'd be a shame if I didn't uh, finish my daily mission. What time is it? It's almost nine. Probably ought to be picking out some socks to wear. Hmm, I am suddenly getting bad stream health, bad connection health. Starting to drop some packets or frames. All right, well, if we have to wrap up early, we will, but. I think for now we're okay. Alright, we've got a lot of tier 8 heavies in this ridgeline situation. Uh, the cupola worries me a little bit. Defender will save us. get over here and see if I can get shots on anyone that's trying to cross up behind this mound. I need to get better at aiming in third person, I think. Looks like no one is making that effort. There could be some tank destroyers up here. How did I not pin? Must have hit his barrel. There we go. Nice cupola shot. 
WZ111. So that's the uh, the premium tank that's on sale right now. I'm pretty sure I got. Oh, that's a big clap. I'm pretty sure I got his uh, lower plate there, which was you know not that much showing. I don't know where he is. He's over there somewhere. Someone spot that ISU. Tornwagen is... I'm, I'm not going to pin this turret from the front. <laughs> That's where I'm going with that. Don't know how to finish this sentence. Well, I'm afraid of their ISU. That's my big problem right now. Whew. Yeah, I was puckering on that one. Instead of talking, it says push left. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm a one shot for the ISU. And I could try to run across there. Probably wouldn't make it. That's so T Ray, just run across an open field with multiple enemies there. Uh oh. Who got him? The ISU. Yeah. He's just about ready to shoot me. Let's see if I can get that lower. So we got him. So you guys still got to worry about the ISU. He just fired, but the ISU is probably looking this way. Ooh, very nice. Renegade with the with the snapshot. It is a bit of a snapshot monster. Okay, so we had some trades there, and I think for the team that uh, we did some good work. Even you know, th did we get it? We got a kill, right? That was a kill? Where's my where's my name? I got two kills. Okay, so I think that gets me my daily mission and my uh, battle pass mission. Uh, but this is going to take a while to finish this up. And it looks like we're going to lose. We're behind on tanks. We're <laughs> way behind on health. Um, yeah, this is this will be hard to turn around. If we had uh, a, an invisible spotter here, the Sturzwagen could do a lot of work on people trying to progress up the valley. But... Yeah, I think even with a coordinated effort... And you know, voice comms, leadership, shot color, uh, that this would be hard to win. Well, we might. Should we, should we just. Uh, ooh, bold move. And ISU got him. ISU got him. What is our Stritzwagen doing? See, he can't see down into the valley from there, but he can see this plateau. And as soon as he fires, he's going to be spotted. Does he go for the light tank? Nope. If he had gone for the light tank, that would be one less gun on the field. It would be harder to hit, but... I think that would have been the better move. But he may have been behind cover, too. So you can only tell so much from these things. So it's just him and... Uh-oh. I believe he's been spotted. So 
So the ELC EVA 90, just seeing what he can get done before he or she. Just like that time in the skate park. No! He tracked himself! Yeah, we gotta root for the underdog. Alright, let's see those battle results. Let's see those mission completions. Mission completa! 300 gold, 150 bonds. Five battle pass points. Wow, how are we on top? We're on top on... Nope, not damage. The S1 did a little bit more damage than us. Uh, 12 more damage than us. Huh. Well, you know, we're on top on XP. Crazy. Uh, let's take a look at... Uh, sorry, our daily missions are done, right? Daily. No, I have one more kill? All right, but our battle pass, we're on to... Well, not this battle pass. My bad. This battle pass mission, uh, we just need to get 10 wins 10 times. Or wait, be in the top 10 10 times. Doesn't have to be a win. No, it doesn't have to be a win. So, 10 games and don't suck. What else is there? Um, if we look at the actual battle pass, we got the three days there. We're going to get training booklets here. And when's the... If I don't get the extra, we well, it'll be easier to look at it on the uh, the spreadsheet. I think it'll be easier to look at it on the spreadsheet. So the what are we looking for? The tokens. So the first token you get is at 15. Oh, this is oh, I'm sorry. This is just the improved pass. So if you have the improved pass, you get a token at 15, you get another token at 20, and then another token at 40. So if you were just going for the tokens and you had the improved battle pass, you'd probably want to play to 20 and then switch to another chapter and play to 20 and then switch to another chapter and play to 20. And you get six that way by completing 20 chapters. Whereas if you play on to 40, you're having to complete another 20 chapters, but you're only getting one instead of two. Uh, and then if we look at the standard pass, looking for those tokens... You get one at 20, one at 25. Oh, well. Yeah, if you had the improved pass, then the thing to do would be play to 25 and then play to 25 on another chapter and 25 on another chapter. So, without the improved pass, we'll get one, two, three, four. I kind of lost track there. Four, four per chapter. If I did that right, and I'm currently at 18, right? And we need 24, so I need six. <laughs> so if we're going for this, ain't it? That ain't it. That ain't it. All right, let's go here. That'll work. So if we're just going for, how can I get the Cobra as soon as possible? You get one at 20, get another one at 25. So then probably the thing to do would be to play to 25 and then play to 25 on another one. Because then you go to 40 and 45. No, I guess it works out the same. So if you want to get them as quickly as possible, play to 45, switch to another one and play to 25. That'll get you six. All right, I chose this chapter first because um, 
when I get the 430U and I am on the 430 currently, this is a style I would use. I'm not going to grind for the E100 anytime soon. And the STB1, I like the uh, the camo that I have on it already. So I don't think I'll switch to the Reddens go faster. Um, so we need another kill. Should we go in the Renegade again? I'm not seeing a lot of requests for play the Patriot, play the Patriot. Ooh. Somebody's cooking something good. But I think we got uh, one or two, maybe three games in us if I play badly enough. I think I have to train someone at work tonight. My favorite thing about my job is I'm alone. So if someone's with me, my favorite thing is gone. Standard battle. We got some tier nines. We got several. We got three tier nine heavies. Should we even try to help over here? I don't know. I think going to the castle probably wouldn't work. I don't want to, you know, poking ridge lines is not the strong suit in this tank. I'm smelling fried beef and onions, you know, like hamburger beef and, and fried onions. It's, it's getting me right here. Like a bowl full of jelly. I work alone as well, so if someone... If I had someone ride along, it would annoy me. I have my ways, methods, leave it be. <laughs> yes, I am a black box. I am the shoemaker elf. I am surprised that connected. I'm a loner, Dottie. A rebel. I'm no good for you. <laughs> so there's a 1.30 p.m. back there. can't pin a, a low, Louva turret like that. Can I get a shot on this Lorraine? Just need a little bit more. I don't think he's going to make that mistake again. Do you think he's going to make that mistake again? I don't think I can get him like this. The Renegade who had it made retrieved for a bounty? Oh, that sounds so familiar. Renegade. It's not clicking. No, I should know what that is. We had to get that gun off the field. That was that was my priority. Might not have been the smartest move, but it was the move. It was the only move. And that Luva has enough of his lower tur lower hull exposed. Well, he did. work got in the way. Yeah. My work too. I'm supposed to be off tonight, but we're short-staffed, which is 
why I'll be training someone to reduce the shortness of the staffing. Uh, well, crap, now I've got to watch this side. Do I have... I've got a scorpion back there, so I can try to get them to move on me. Uh, except this Stritzwagen K is going to be a pain. Merely tracked him! Man, that's bugging me. What is that from? This gun, right? Damn. This armor. And he's going to be ready to fire by the time I get into position. Didn't even track him. <sighs> Their whole team is over here. Is that that same Lorraine? It's a different Lorraine. Lorraine Newman from Saturday Night Live. That guy just keeps showing me his lower plate. Only so much you can do, right? Did I get any kills? I got a kill. Yes. I only needed one more, I believe, for the daily. <laughs> Take that rock. Which also sounds familiar. Uh. Oh, sticks. Yes. Yes. Oh my god! You guys gotta tell me when I do stupid shit like this. I haven't had the Excel spreadsheet up the whole time. Are you guys just listening? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Oh no, it wasn't up until I alt-tabbed. Yeah, if I'm if I'm looking at the game, well, there. No, 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 no. It depends on how I do it because I've got two different ways to show the spreadsheet. So the way I've been doing it is I've just been sharing the actual screen. Um, this looks like it could carry on for a while, but it definitely looks like a loss. How is that guy still alive? Good timing. <sighs> so, Patriot? There we go. Patriot. Oh, wow, look at that. It says exchange up here. So, you know, we've got this trade-in thing where you can get half credit for a tier, or not, it doesn't matter the tier, I think it's tier th 6 through 8. You can get credit for premium tanks as a trade-in on uh, a new premium tank. But as much as there are some premium tanks that I have that I don't really like, I, yeah, I just, I don't know. Well, then I would still have to spend money to get the other one, which there's there aren't too many that I really want. I'd kind of like the uh, the EBR. I just noticed that 
up uh, B and C four through five the map kind of looks like a bear face I can't remember what that phenomenon is called where you Uh, parade, pareidolia, facial pareidolia, pa pareidolia, where you recognize faces that aren't there. It's just, you know, kind of like that, the face on Mars, which is just like a shadow across a rock. You see two spots and any kind of line and your brain puts together a face. So yeah, anyway, up here, let's, bing. Up here, it just this is kind of looking like a bear to me. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. What am I doing? Uh, I'm a tier eight in a tier eight match. Um, I don't really have a plan. I guess we just push hard over here. Wig grain, yeah. Blast your ceilings. Yeah, it used to be great. It's still pretty good. The cupola is a little weak, but it's also a little small. Has low alpha damage, so you have to protect yourself and get a lot of shots in. But you've got okay penetration. I was about to say okay accuracy, but I didn't quite aim that very well, did I? Uh oh. Decent armor, especially the turret, especially the front. Is that Baraska alive? He is, isn't he? It's 920, huh? Ah, do not quite have the gu Oh no, he's getting away! Fezzik, he's getting away! Okay, the um... The Borsig is probably in position again. Damn it! He there, yep, he's in position. Oh, no! I'm just greedy right now. Wow, my... <sighs> Who else was dead? Because that accuracy on the ELC shot, the bloom on that seemed a little large. Alright, 477 damage. If that doesn't convince you to buy it... <laughs> Uh, so you, while the, um, while the shots are low alpha, they're pretty good penetration. Accuracy's not too bad. It's not as, the aim time is a little long. When you have to, when you really want to aim in, it, you can feel the clock ticking. It shows 2.1, but it feels longer than that. Dispersion 3.5, compare that to the Renegade. Renegade 2.28, so an even longer aim time, but uh, and the dispersion is 0.35, so that's even worse. No, it's the same. And on the Patriot, I've got hardening, vert stabs, and vents. I'm not sure why I have hardening. Oh, does it? Uh, it reduces your time while you're tracked. Suspension repair speed. Yeah, I think that was why I chose it because it's a fairly slow tank and when it gets tracked It's obviously even slower. So There's probably a better choice than than hardening And for renegade I'd really like to put the uh, the aim improved aiming on it, but it when you, especially when you're going up a hill, it feels a little bit slow. I like having the turbo on it. 
Maybe I should try it without, but w with the turbo, it seems drivable. Uh, oh, yeah, missions. Did we get our missions? So we were looking at daily. Okay, we got that one. And that one. And we are just, wor yeah, we knew we got this one. So now we're just working on the last stage of that. All right, 923. <sighs> Any requests? This is going to have to be the last game. So I can play the Renegade, or I can play just about anything else. Pick out some socks to wear. I know. I'm not wearing socks. Um, if you if we look at Skill for L2's site, where is there it is, and we put in. Yeah, I should probably play a Jackson round. Renegade. Let's see. He has. Vent, Rammer, and then Vert Stab or Rotation. I've got Vent, Rammer, and Turbo. He, uh, he does have one suggestion for Turbo, Rammer, and then Vert Stab or Rotation Device. Um, that's with Field Mod Level 3. And he's that's a suggestion for Open Map. So it's not his primary suggestion, but it's it's in the loop there. Yeah, for for larger maps or where you're going to be climbing hills, I'd say you definitely want the turbo. So if you're going to have alternate configurations, let's take off accelerate. Now that I own it, let's take off accelerate crew training so we can start working on the field mods. Um. I think I'm going to play one game in the uh, Jackson. I'm going to Jackson. It's a whim. This is the tank that uh, if I played, I if I played a game of World of Tanks that day, one of those games was going to be the Jackson. I hear that whistle blowing. It's coming round the bend. Did we win? Oh, we lost. I mean, and with that performance I put in, how is that possible? What are we going to do here? Oh, well, we're going to go to the coast. Let's see. We got some tier sevens. Oh, you got me. Hey, it'll buff out. Chug, 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 chug. Yes, but does it trundle? Oh yeah, it trundles. Ooh. Lag kind of had me moving a little extra there. Should we try to take a blind fire at this guy? No, he's behind that mound. How many artillery are there? One, two. Oh, one of them's dead. Yeah, that FE-304. 
It has a, whoa, very short range. We're having a little trouble climbing here. There's someone on the coast. That hit. Nope. Didn't look like it hit the ground. It seems like there's no way where it landed and he was when he was visible again that he had time to travel that distance. Looks like we're going to get him. Maybe next life. There we go. Now I'm spotted? Yeah, it's worth a try. What am Oh, I'm almost out of standard ammo. faster. There we go. Oh no! I really wanted that shot to connect. Is he really just going to hold still? I Yeah, I almost blew that. How are we doing on the rest of the map? Not great. Nah, I thought it was going to hold still. Alright. It's time to fry some other fish. Thirty. Okay, this is the last game. It's the last game I'll ever play for you. I know that that's not how the words really go. I don't think I can shoot through that rock. Take that rock. And I've crawled, kind of made rocks, so that's a thing. Am I having like... What is that? Is it the waves? Why was I getting that strobing? I probably need to dust everything out. Let's head for the cap. I don't think I'm going to get a shot right... Man, I might get a shot right here. Oh, it went low! There we go. It looked like it hit him in the side, but it also tracked him. And game! Set and match. Three kills. See, I should have just played the Jackson earlier got those kills out of the way. As punch lines go, not very punchy. What did that say over here? Seven battle pass points, some credits, good stuff there, three kills, 1,600. Mm, I th look at how much XP, extra, X, blah, extra XP we have on this thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's time to turn on Accelerate crew training. Yeah, it's, yeah, I love the Jackson. It's uh, my—I don't know if it's my favorite anymore, but 
I, I still like it a lot. It's slow, but it's good. It carries more ammo than the Hellcat. Uh, I think it's slightly more accurate. I don't know. Anyway, appreciate you guys being here. It's always more fun when you're here, right? Keeping me company. Uh, thoughts on the Renegade? Oh, oh, yeah. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, you have until... Let's, let's verify. I gotta find that. And World of Tanks joins... K9 Warriors. K9's four warriors. You have until the 17th to donate 11, 22, or 33 dollars. You can donate any amount you want, but you know, if you want the fabulous prizes, to get the camouflage, three days of premium, the Patriot, seven days of premium, uh, as well as the camouflage and some decals, or the Patriot and the Renegade, considered by many to be pay to win, overpowered. Uh, the Patriot Snow Slouch itself, plus 14 days, and uh, camouflage, and loads of decals. Uh, select the one you want. Click on donate. Uh, do I had? Do I? I do not. Once again, I did not have it highlighted. So, <laughs> right in your game client, look for World of Tanks joins forces with K9s for Warriors. Watch the video. See what it's about. And then feel free to donate 11, 22, or 33, depending on how much you want to give and uh, what reward you want to receive. And for $33, if you're wanting to buy the Patriot or the Renegade or both, then you're not going to beat $33. So, and again, watch the video. It's for a pretty good cause. <sighs> and, uh, Note, it says that uh, you'll get your tank the following Monday. That's basically what it says. But don't be surprised if it's late. You can send a ticket if it's late, but they're having trouble keeping up. <sighs> Do recommend. Five stars? I don't know. But it's a great way to get two great tanks for fairly reasonable, very reasonable price compared to everything else you can get. I think your Defender is superior to the Renegade. In many ways it is. Sometimes you just have that tank that clicks with you for whatever reason. Yeah, I, I chose the Jackson when I was switching from... I'd been playing a lot of RD, and then I started playing some light tanks, and then I just... Uh, the joy of sniping... And it's a it's a great tank to snipe in. It's got the mobility. It's got the turret. It's got some armor. You know, I like to say that it allows you to make a mistake, and and you tend you got a pretty good chance to bounce a shot or two if you like. Oops, shouldn't have done that. Whereas the Hellcat, you're almost always going to get penetrated. Uh, it also carries more ammo, I believe. Let's see, nine thirty three and five versus Hellcat seven nineteen and four. Uh, that's yeah. That's almost like ten more, isn't it? Hashtag bad at math. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I love I love that tank. Uh, but warriors for or canines for warriors. Uh, you got until the seventeenth to get a great deal on tanks. War gaming doesn't see any of that money. It all goes to the charity, and the tanks go to you. So if you're at all interested in two awesome tanks, then that's a good way to get them. By a lot of standards, a good way to get them. <sighs> Once again, always more fun when you're here, so hope to see you guys next time. Till then, be well. Thanks again, Tufel. I feel like there should be music playing.